welcome guys of your dream girl so by end of the video you guys will be able to implement or add your custom marker on the destination so let me show you let's search for a location like kda park and yeah guys you will be able to implement your custom marker on your destination so now let's get started i'm back in android studio so basically in order to implement this you have to follow few steps step number one make sure that you added your custom marker inside your assets folder so as you can see in my case dest underscore marker is the marker that i want to show on the google map so this is the first step second step make sure you have registered your assets okay and step number three you just have to open home dot dot file and here i have created a function called load custom marker this function is aimed to load the custom marker from the asset folder okay as you guys can see i have another function named load asset that is basically loading asset from the asset folder with a specified width as you guys can see first parameter is width uh, path and another parameter is width so this code is doing nothing just it is uh, getting the asset from our asset folder and loading it inside uint 8 list and then what i am uh, returning is uh, image to byte data so this image has been loaded inside a byte data and once this function is executed I am returning unit at list as marker icon. So this is what you have to do. Now uh, question arises where I call this function load custom marker. Basically you have to execute this function from init state method and once this function has been implemented uh, our custom marker has been loaded inside uh, this variable marker icon which is type of uint at list so now uh, we are done with loading our custom marker now how to show this loaded custom marker into google map so let me show you let's first of all i have to search search for our destination so this is this is the text field where we have to implement our custom marker as you guys know from the previous video that we have added a marker uh, that is basically a red marker nothing else all the code is from there just what I have added is this new property icon okay now I'm loading icon from bitmap descriptor dot from bytes and then I have provided the marker icons that I have showed you that I'm loading it from the assets so guys that's it for implementing your custom marker so let me show you once again I have restarted okay let's wait yeah guys app has been restarted successfully now let's search for something else what university and yeah guys you can see we I have searched for what university and once I click on it it just add this custom marker on the Guwahati University of Science and Technology location. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned and please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks.